Hi folks, welcome back. We're going to keep going here. Um, Alright. We were doing starting on the back here. Let's see if we can... Now the, the other thing we need to do is give it a couple of hips here. So let's do this. Let's see how I did this on the other one. Okay, a little bit more straighter up. Alright. Let's do it the same. Okay, good. Right, so, what what is this now? We're going to take our knife and we're going to do a nice big V cut here. Okay. I'm going to cut right behind here too because this is going to come out a little bit. And we're going to notch this out. Right, just like that. Alright, same thing over here. We're, we're going to have to clean up quite a bit yet. Alright, I'm going to go back over here and redo this as well. And take this in a little further. The bigger your pieces are, the harder they are to hold on to. The smaller, well, it all depends. A real small is also hard to hang on to, but I find that um, a lot of times uh, the larger stuff can be a little more difficult. Alright, good. Alright, so we're going to take, we're going to go ahead and outline his tail here before I start. Oh, see, now I should have been more careful there. When you come to an edge like that, you should really turn it around and come the other way. Alright, I should have done that. There we go. Did that a little bit at an angle. We're going to take that all out real quick here. Real quick there. Alright. And we're going to file this up a little bit. Just like so. That's good. So that tail's sticking out a little bit. I have the tails going in the same direction with all the animals, it seems. You know, you'll find a niche, you know, your your niche might be doing caricatures or it might be doing animals. Mm -hmm. If you're just new to carving, you know, if you like to do a variety of things like I do. Years ago I did the birds that took hours and hours and hours to do. I have a half size eagle that took me I had estimated back then about two hundred hours and it's like, oh my goodness. I much rather do this in a few hours and have, have a result. Um, so this is really what I like doing. And, and I'm not a, a real bird fan, uh, so to speak. I love eagles, don't get me wrong, I love eagles. And I love the work other people do with it. But a lot of people will do birds and with high speed grinders. And, and I like to be able to sit down with a knife like I'm doing right now with you on the tape. And just carve something and end up with something at the end of a couple of hours or an hour and a half, you know. Something that looks similar to what I wanted to, you know, wanted to do. So, you know, it's not, everybody has their own thing that they like to do. And carving is very versatile. You can, you can do a lot of um, birds, you can do a lot of caricatures and only caricatures. You can do animals and only animals chip carving, relief carving. You find what you like to do and what interests you and that's what you go with. So if it's birds, that's fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, they have a lot of competition with birds and such. I'm just going around now just kind of rounding things off a little bit. All right, so he doesn't look so blocky, and we're getting rid of all this. You see this rough stuff here? You see it's a little darker. That's the rough stuff from the actual original block, and that's the stuff you need to get rid of. 
and even I miss some of it from time to time. I mean, in my hurry of carving or in my, you know, thinking I'm done with it, and all of a sudden I go back, oh darn, I missed that and I missed this. That's why when you're done carving, okay, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go back after I'm off line with doing and I go back and I clean things up. I, I re-enhance the lines. I go back and see if there's any rough spots, um, you know, and so on and so forth. And that's when you can do the finalized carving. And if you have too many cuts here that are kind of deep, you know, you can smooth them out a little bit. Like a, I don't like using I don't like using sandpaper at all in my carving, so uh, I usually just use the knife to clean up stuff. Uh, somebody had a question on uh, my Facebook page about getting blotchiness on one of the carvings she wanted to stain, I believe. And one of the th reasons that might be is because when you go to sand something, it, it, it can be blotchy, and you really have to sand it down pretty much for you not to have it a, a blotchy look. But when you do it this way, other than going by the by the end grain where it can soak it up, you know, it, it's pretty even for the most part. Especially if you seal it a little bit, but I don't seal these when I paint them. I paint them with the acrylic and then I go over them with my That's it. Let's see if we got that. That's not as round as I would like it to be. Let me look at this for a second. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit and we're going to redefine that tail a little bit more. I want that a little bit more rounded. Alright, that seems a little better. Round it off on this side. Again on the bottom. What you're trying to do is round things up. Alright? So that looks pretty good. Well, I don't know. Um, see what the little chips I'm taking off of here? That's kind of how you do the cleanup, you know, you go around and you redo things. Alright. Now, the back is pretty well done. The front is pretty well done. A little bit on the feet yet. We did the nose. Let me take a look here. I put a few little notches in. Let me, let me clean up his feet up here a little bit. Alright. Just kind of make it look a little more rounded than it is. Let me take it back for a second so I can take a look at stuff a little better. And you always want to go back and redefine your lines. That will enhance your carving quite a bit if you do that. So what we're doing here, we're going to put little notches with a V-tool in. All right. I'm going to notch them out. I think I did them with a knife. I didn't do them with a V-tool. I did them with a V-tool. Okay, the other thing is they have little notches here too. Okay, around the feet. And uh, we're just going to notch that out as well. One. Try to make them as evenly spaced as you can. I'll be right back. 